The Embraer E-Jet family is a series of narrow-body short to medium-range twin-engine jet airliners, carrying 66 to 124 passengers commercially, manufactured by Brazilian aerospace manufacturer Embraer. The aircraft family was first introduced at the Paris Air Show in 1999 and entered production in 2002. The series has been a commercial success primarily due to its ability to efficiently serve lower demand routes while offering many of the same amenities and features of larger jets. The aircraft is used by mainline and regional airlines around the world but has proven particularly popular with regional airlines in the United States. Development Embraer first disclosed that it was studying a new 70-seat aircraft, which it called the EMB-170, in 1997, concurrently with announcing the development of its ERJ-135. The EMB-170 was to feature a new wing and larger diameter fuselage mated to the nose and cockpit of the ERJ-145. The proposed derivative would have cost $450 million to develop. While Alenia, Aerospatial and British Aerospace through AI-R were studying the Airjet 70 based on the ATR 42 70 seconds fuselage for a 2,200 km 1, NMI range, AI-R and Embraer were studying a joint development of a 70-seater jet since their separate projects were not yet launched. In February 1999, Embraer announced it had a abandoned the derivative approach in favor of an all-new design. The E-Jet family was formally launched at the Paris Air Show on 14 June 1999 as the ERJ-170 and ERJ-190, designations later changed to Embraer-170 and Embraer-190. Launch customers for the aircraft were the French airline regional company Aérienne Européenne with 10 orders and 5 options for the E-170, and the Swiss airline Crossair with an order for 30 E-170s and 30 E-190s. Production of parts to build the prototype and test airframes began in July 2000. The first prototype PPXJE rolled out on October 29, 2001 at São José dos Campos, Brazil. Its first flight occurred 119 days later on February 19, 2002, marking the beginning of a multi-year flight test campaign. The aircraft was displayed to the public in May 2002 at the Regional Airline Association Convention. Full production began in 2002, at a new factory built by Embraer at its São José dos Campos base. After a positive response from the airline community, Embraer launched the E 175, which stretched the fuselage of the E 170 by 1.78 metres. The first flight of the E 175 took place on June 2003. In 2003, JetBlue ordered 100 Embraer 190s, delivered from 2005. After several delays in the certification process, the E 170 received type certification from the Aviation Authorities of Brazil, Europe, and the United States in February 2004. Introduction The first E-170s were delivered in the second week of March 2004 to Lot Polish Airlines, followed by Alitalia and U.S. Airways subsidiary Mid-Atlantic Airways. Lot operated the first commercial flight of an E-Jet on 17 March 2004, from Warsaw to Vienna. 
Launch customer Crossair had in the meantime ceased to exist after its takeover of Swissair, and fellow launch customer regional company Aerien deferred its order, not receiving its first E-Jet — an E-190LR — until 2006. The first E-175 was delivered to Air Canada and entered service in July 2005. Topic. Production In 2008, the 400th E-Jet was delivered to Republic Airlines in the U.S. In September 2009, the 600th E-Jet built was delivered to Lot Polish Airlines. On October 10, 2012, Embraer delivered the 900th E-Jet to Kenya Airways, its 12th E-Jet. On 13 September 2013, the delivery of the 1000th E-Jet, an E-175 to Republic Airlines for American Eagle, was marked by a ceremony held at the Embraer factory in São José dos Campos, with a special, 1000th E-Jet. Decal above the cabin windows. On 6 December 2017, the 1400th E jet was delivered, an E 175. It had a backlog of over 150 firm orders on 30 September 2017. On 18 December 2018, Embraer delivered the 1500th E-Jet, an E-175 to Alaska Air subsidiary Horizon Air, as Embraer claims a 80% market share of the North American 76-seaters. By then, the fleet had completed 25 million flight hours in 18 million cycles an average of 1.4 h with a 99.9% .9 dependability. <laughs> <laughs> Operations On 6 November 2008, the longest flight of an E-190 was flown by JetBlue from Anchorage Airport to Buffalo International Airport over 2,694 nmi 4 a repositioning flight after a two-month charter for vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin. On 14 October 2017, an Airlink Embraer E-190-100 IGW with 78 passengers aboard inaugurated the first scheduled commercial airline service in history to St. Helena in the South Atlantic Ocean, arriving at St. Helena Airport after a flight of about six hours from Johannesburg, South Africa, with a stop at Windhoek, Namibia. The flight began a once-a-week scheduled service by Airlink between Johannesburg and St. Helena using Embraer 190 aircraft. The inaugural flight was only the second commercial flight to St. Helena in the island's history, and the first since a chartered Airlink Avro RJ-85 landed at St. Helena Airport on 3 May 2017. E-Jet's second generation In November 2011, Embraer announced that it would develop revamped versions of the E-Jet to be called the E-Jet E-2 family. The new jets would feature improved engines that would be more fuel efficient and take advantage of new technologies. Beyond the new engines, the E-2 family would also feature new wings, improved avionics, and other improvements to the aircraft. The move came amid a period of high global fuel costs and better positions Embraer as competitors introduced new and more fuel-efficient jets, including the Mitsubishi Regional Jet. The new aircraft family also includes a much larger variant, the E-195E2 capable of carrying between 120 and 146 passengers. This jet better positions Embraer against the competing Airbus A220 aircraft. The PW1000G was previously selected for use on competing aircraft. 
In January 2013, Embraer selected the Pratt & Whitney PW1000G geared turbofan engine to power the E2 family. On February 28, 2018, the E190E2 received its type certificate from the ANAC, FAA and EASA. It is scheduled to enter service in the second quarter of 2018. Topic: <laughs> Design The Embraer E-Jets line is composed of two main commercial families and a business jet variant. The smaller E-170 and E-175 make up the base model aircraft. The E-190 and E-195 are stretched versions, with different engines and larger wing, horizontal stabilizer and landing gear structures. The 170 and 175 share 95% commonality, as do the 190 and 195. The two families share near 89% commonality, with identical fuselage cross-sections and avionics, featuring the Honeywell Primus Epic Electronic Flight Instrument System suite. The E-Jets also have winglets to improve efficiency. All E-Jets use four abreast seating two plus two and have a «double bubble» design, which Embraer developed for its commercial passenger jets, that provides stand-up headroom. The E-190-195 series of aircraft have capacities similar to the initial versions of the McDonnell Douglas DC-9 and Boeing 737. The E-Jets have turbofan engines designed to reduce noise, which allows them to operate in airports that have strict noise restrictions, such as London City Airport. At 185 square in 11.9 square decimeters, the E-Jet windows are larger than the 175 square in 11.3 square decimeters Boeing 787 windows. Topic Variants Topic E one hundred seventy The E-170 is the smallest aircraft in the E-Jet family and was the first to enter revenue service in March two thousand four. As of 2017, the E-170 is largely out of production. The E-170 typically seats around 72 passengers in a typical single-class configuration, 66 in a dual-class configuration, and up to 78 in a high-density configuration. The E-170 directly competes with the Bombardier CRJ-700 and loosely with the turboprop Bombardier Q-400. The jet is powered with General Electric CF-34-8E engines of 14,200 pounds thrust each. E-175 The E-175 is a slightly stretched version of the E-170 and first entered revenue service in July 2005. The E-175 typically seats around 78 passengers in a typical single-class configuration, 76 in a dual-class configuration, and up to 88 in a high-density configuration. Like the E-170, it is powered with General Electric CF-34-8E engines of 14,200 pounds of thrust each. It competes with the Bombardier CRJ-900 in the market segment previously occupied by the earlier Bay 146 and Fokker 70. 
In late 2017, Embraer announced the E-175SC Special Configuration, limited to 70 seats like the E-170 to take advantage of the E-175 performance improvements, but still comply with U.S. airline scope clauses limiting operators to 70 seats. Embraer is marketing the E-175SC as a replacement for the older 70-seat Bombardier CRJ700 with better efficiency and a larger first class. In 2018, a new E-175 has a value of $27 million, projected to fall to $3-8 million 13 years later due to their concentration in the U.S. with more than 450 in service within five. 160, with Republic and SkyWest operating over 120 each, Compass 55 and Envoy Air 45, after the similar experience with the CRJ200 and ERJ145 demonstrates the limited remarketing opportunities. E190 and E195 The E-190-195 models are a larger stretch of the E-170-175 models fitted with a new, larger wing, a larger horizontal stabilizer, two emergency overwing exits, and a new engine, the GECF 3410E, rated at 18,500 pounds these aircraft compete with the Bombardier CRJ-1000 and Airbus A220-100, the Boeing 717-200 and 737-600, and the Airbus A318. It can carry up to 100 passengers in a two-class configuration or up to 124 in single-class high-density configuration. The first flight of the E190 was on March 12, 2004, PPXMA, with the first flight of the E195, PPXMJ, on December 7 of the same year. The launch customer of the E-190 was New York-based low-cost carrier JetBlue with 100 orders options in 2003 and took its first delivery in 2005. British low-cost carrier Flybe was the first operator of the E-195, had 14 orders and 12 options, and started E-195 operations on the 22nd of September 2006. Flybe have since decided that they would remove the aircraft from their fleet in favor of the Dash 8Q400 and Embraer 175. In an effort to reduce costs, by 2020, Air Canada operates 25 E190 aircraft fitted with 9 business class and 88 economy class seats as part of its primary fleet. All 25 to be removed from the fleet. JetBlue, American Airlines, and Georgian Airways also operate the E-190 as part of their own fleet. Austrian Airlines have 17 E-195 aircraft in their mainline fleet. By 2018, the first E-190's value was below $10 million and can be leased below $100,000, while most recent ones are worth $30 million and can be leased for less than $200,000 per month. Topic. Embraer Lineage 1000 On 2 May 2006, Embraer announced plans for the business jet variant of the E-190, the Embraer Lineage 1000 type name ERJ-190-100 ECJ. It has the same structure as the E-190, but with an extended range of up to 4,200 nmi, and luxury seating for up to 19. It was certified by the USA Federal Aviation Administration on 7 January 2009. The first two production aircraft were delivered in December 2008.
Topic: <laughs> Undeveloped variants. Topic: <laughs> E195X. Embraer considered producing an aircraft which was known as the E-195X, a stretched version of the E-195. It would have seated approximately 130 passengers. The E-195X was apparently a response to an American Airlines request for an aircraft to replace its McDonnell Douglas MD-80s. Embraer abandoned plans for the 195X in May 2010, following concerns that its range would be too short. Topic: <laughs> Operators. As of July 2018, the Embraer fleet consists of the following aircraft. Embraer 170 E170 or EMB 170 to 100 190 Embraer 170 aircraft have been delivered with one additional jet under a firm order Major operators include Republic Airlines 59 J Air 18 S7 Airlines 17 Hop 15 and Aeromexico Connect 13 Embraer 175 E175 or EMB 170 to 200 511 Embraer 175 aircraft have been delivered with an additional 92 under firm order Major operators include Skywest Airlines 131, Republic Airlines 129, Mesa Airlines 60, Compass Airlines North America 56 and Envoy Air 44. Major firm orders include 45 aircraft for Skywest Airlines and 30 for Horizon Air. Embraer 190 E190 or EMB 190 to 100 549 Embraer 190 aircraft have been delivered with an additional 43 under firm order Major operators include JetBlue 60, Aeromexico Connect 48, Tianjin Airlines 32, KLM Cityhopper 32, Buda Airways 8 and Austral Lineas Areas 26. Major firm orders include 24 aircraft for JetBlue. Embraer 195 E195 or EMB 190 to 200. 164 Embraer 195 aircraft have been delivered, with an additional five under firm order. Major operators include Azul Brazilian Airlines 54, Austrian Airlines 17, Tianjin Airlines 17, Air Dolomiti 12, and Air Europa Express 11. Major firm orders include six aircraft for Lot Polish Airlines. Topic: Orders and deliveries. List of Embraer's E-Jet family deliveries and orders. Source: Embraer's order book as of March 31, 2019. Topic: Accidents and incidents. The E-Jet was involved in 21 incidents involving seven hull losses. Of the seven hull losses, six are accidents causing 44 fatalities and one is criminal causing 33 fatalities, while one hijacking caused two fatalities. <laughs> accidents with fatalities On 24 August 2010, Henan Airlines Flight 8387, an E-190 that departed from Harbin, People's Republic of China, crash-landed about 1 km short of the runway at Yichun Lindu Airport, resulting in 44 deaths. 
On 29 June 2012, during Tianjin Airlines Flight 7554 in China, six passengers carrying explosives stood up and announced a hijacking but were subdued by the other occupants. The E 190 returned to Houghton Airport where the hijackers were apprehended and two of them later died in hospital from injuries received in the fight. On 29 November 2013, LAM Mozambique Airlines Flight 470, an E-190, crashed in Namibia, killing all 33 aboard 27 passengers, six crew members by the deliberate actions of the pilot. The first officer reportedly left the cockpit to use the bathroom. He was then locked out by the captain, who dramatically reduced the aircraft's altitude and ignored various automated warnings ahead of the high-speed impact. <laughs> Hull losses with no fatalities On 17 July 2007, Aero Republica Flight 7330 overran the runway while landing at Simón Bolívar International Airport in Santa Marta, Colombia. The E-190 slid down an embankment off the side of the runway and came to rest with the nose in shallow water. The aircraft was damaged beyond repair, but all 60 aboard evacuated unharmed. On 16 September 2011, an E-190 operated by TAME landed long and ran off the end of the runway at Mariscal Sucre International Airport in Quito, colliding with approach equipment and a brick wall. The crew reportedly failed to adhere to the manufacturer's procedures in the event of a flap malfunction, continuing the approach in spite of the aircraft's condition. Eleven of the 103 aboard received minor injuries, and the aircraft was written off. On 31 July 2018, Aeromexico Connect Flight 2431, an E-190 bound for Mexico City, crashed in Durango, Mexico shortly after takeoff. Ninety-nine passengers and four crew were on board. Although there were no fatalities, the aircraft was destroyed by the ensuing fire. The probable cause was attributed to loss of control by low altitude wind shear that caused a loss of speed and lift, with contributing factors from the crew and the navigation services. Other incidents On 18 February 2007, Shuttle America Flight 6448 an E-170 operating for Delta Connection ran off the runway on landing at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport, Ohio in poor visibility during a snowstorm. None of the 75 passengers and crew aboard were injured, and the aircraft, while significantly damaged, was repaired and returned to service. On 4 December 2016, SkyWest Airlines Flight 5588, an E-175 operating as a United Express flight from Houston Intercontinental Airport, TX to Monterrey, Mexico, was diverted to San Antonio, TX after experiencing an abnormal landing gear indication. Upon landing, the nose gear of the aircraft collapsed, and the aircraft came to rest on runway 04. Of the 51 passengers and four crew members, only one minor injury was sustained during the evacuation. During recovery of the aircraft, it was discovered that a failed downlock spring on the nose gear had prevented the landing gear from locking in the down position. On 12 May 2019, Myanmar National Airlines E-190 flight UB-103 to Mandalay had to land without the nosewheel, which failed to deploy. There were no casualties reported among the 82 passengers and 7 crew. Specifications <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>
Topic See also Related development Embraer Lineage 1000 Embraer E Jet E2 family aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Airbus A220-100 108-128 seats Airbus A318 2003-2013, 107-132 seats Antonov and 148 2009-68-99 seats Boeing 717 1999-2006 106-134 seats Boeing 737 1998-2006 108-130 seats Bombardier CRJ 700 series 2001 66 to 104 seats Comac ARJ 21 2016 78 to 105 seats Suhoi Superjet 100 2011 87 to 108 seats Related lists List of jet airliners List of civil aircraft List of active Brazilian military aircraft <laughs>